So they have to be watertight in terms of singing and and be very very good singers. So it was a tough call, and, but 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 n no problems in. Uh, everybody wants to work together and mm. happy to be involved, and it's fantastic. I mean, musically, it's it's you know, it's, it's one of those uh, things where everyone's going to do what they do. We're not asking people to change how they sing. We want to celebrate what they actually do, and it's our job to light that in the best possible way. So it's really a celebration of bringing together all those cultures under one musical roof and represent them in the best possible way. Uh, we've got Annie. And we're trying. And she's come today, especially from, from Nepal. Nepal. And she's a, a Buddhist nun. We've got Father uh, John Glynn, um, who is from Norfolk, uh, and he's a Catholic priest. Uh, we've got Good. Vicar, so it's Tony Luke, who's a great tenor, and he's um, interesting fact. As I think you might know, I don't know, but he's Derby County's chaplain as well. Uh, he's from Derbyshire. Um, who's that? Who's a master musician in his own right? Um, and he's Muslim, Muslim. And, and, and Nick and I uh, went to see him in Leicester and met the family. Yeah. So hospitable, and we that just thought he was great chap and had to be in the Danny Chiranjib, Chiranjib who's come a very long way today uh, from Houston <laughs> he's just around the corner uh, but he's an established uh, singer he's a Hindustani singer and uh, he's, he's bringing a lot really he's actually classically him. trained yeah. uh, and a, another master musician we've got Rabbi Rabbi Danny Ogan, who's mm -hmm. an orthodox uh, rabbi and uh, he's a great singer yeah um, and uh, that's the lineup, uh, and of course yourself. And is there an issue at all for you with the orthodox tradition in terms of men and women singing together? Well, uh, um, it's on the surface of things. If you're confronted by that, you know, one's immediate reaction coming from the Western world is, "Oh my goodness, we can't possibly have this." But actually, that would be sending out the wrong message about what we're trying to do. This is about embracing and tolerance. And yes, it could make things slightly difficult, but. We have to respect uh, Danny and, 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 and what his beliefs are, and everyone does, and we have to work around it. And I think it's going to be a very interesting um, part of the group's story that we're working around. Here's the most sort of um, commercially, minding industry, commercially minded industry one could come, could come up against. But we're going to work around that much in the same way as, you know, in the famous story about Chariots of Fire, where he couldn't run on a Sunday. We work around it, <coughs> and, and it's something yeah. we celebrate. Yeah, I think it's right. Uh, we work around it, and and, uh, and the door is open with all faiths, you know, for other faiths at other times. Mm. This is the beginning. Now, you two are extremely well-established songwriters, and I know a, 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 um, a lethal chemistry really is, is that we have. My background is, uh, although it's been A and R discovering and finding us, I, I discovered Billy Bragg, to Dead or Alive. I signed Level Forty Two. I signed some big huge acts in my time but from a PR level I've promoted Lloyd Webber to Costello to Pavarotti so what's interesting about us is that I've got a very much a, a PR mind always looking for you know a hundred records are released a week what makes something different um, and Nick sh shares that kind of view that you have to be different and walk a different path when you're promoting a, a record or establishing a new artist and the fantastic thing about us is that Nick can we can discuss things and Nick can realize the ideas fan so fantastically well um, in terms of sounds and songs and producing the artists and we brainchild ideas you know like for example we recorded a song today Faith Unites Us All we, we wrote that song with this project in mind with the established Ronan Hardeman who's Michael Flatley composes for Michael Flatley but we, we, we set about writing the right kind of song with the right message. And uh, uh, Nick, I mean, you're yeah. still working on the track, aren't you? It's, That's it's, right, yeah. 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 But, but it, uh, um, and Nick's produced many famous artists. I mean, song. I come in, uh, uh, my background is from record production, and I've been lucky enough to work with lots of people from 
Marvin Gaye, Tina Turner, to more kindly Russell Watson, Catherine Jenkins. Um, Jeff and I, our first project we put together was a group called The Soldiers. We had a, a double platinum, 600,000 copies yep. sold last year. Fifth, fifth biggest selling album last year. Uh, and people might have thought, oh, well, hey, one, al one hit album wonders. No, we got them back straight in the top ten this year. And one the, of the, the album's flying off the shelves. Um, and that's a similar situation in the sense that um, it, 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 we felt um, there was a, uh, the public had a connection uh, with and cared about soldiers, and we thought that was a connection that that, 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 that would make very uh, a, a very interesting project musically. And we feel similar in this way that there's a connection um, with the public immediately. There is because of there's how many six. If you add up all the figures of how many people uh, follow religion in the world, in different faiths, it's over six billion. Um, the, there's a, an audience there. I mean, it's such a brilliant idea that it's staggering it hasn't been done before, well, really. People don't yeah. think of the obvious. They don't, all the time, they don't think of the obvious. It's also actually very difficult to put together. You know, in, in, we're in an industry where lots of people have ideas. But actually executing that idea is, is, is the big thing. Um, it's, uh, it's taken a lot of time, yeah, a, a lot. lot of energy, and most record companies simply don't have that time and energy to do that. It takes individuals like ourselves yeah. and to a lot of faith together. Actually, Absolutely. a lot, a lot of, of faith. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Nick is super positive. Uh, I'm super positive. We never look at the negative. And our ideas, like soldiers, people are trying to copy. Uh, they would probably expect <laughs> us, uh, uh, us to sign the nurses, but no, we're not signing the nurses. We're walking a different path on every project. We 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 want to be original. We don't want to you know, follow the crowd. So, what kind of music will we have on the first album? Well, we're going. It's going to be a celebration of the individuals for a start, and it's about making sure that we can set that in a musical soundscape which is accepted in the Western world. We, we're under no illusions. We want to sell a lot of records. This is what, you know, partly the commercial side of this venture is about. And so we've got to present the record in a way that can be easily digested. So that's keeping all the individuals true to what they do. But our job is to light it in a way that makes it commercial, but uh, cinematic, and gives it a, a wonderful world feeling, a sense of harmony a sense of peace but you get a sense of journey as well about where you about you know the imagery needs to be global rather than specific western pop there'll be textures from all over the world and it'll be a very wonderful almost like a soundtrack to this extraordinary idea